Fox News had on one of their sad sellout doctors to bash Obamacare again. And years after the implementation, they're going to continue to bring up the death panels. Who's to say who's with it and who isn't? Well, Ram, uh, uh, Ezekiel Emanuel says we should die at 75. But if you take the standard of age 85, let's go ahead and take it. Imagine if you're 85 years old, you look at the stats and one in three uh, Americans have Alzheimer's, which, of course, means two out of three don't. Right, exactly. Two out of three don't. Now, look, first of all, we're doing a lot of research on Alzheimer's right now. Should we write off everyone that has it, or should we do more research and get it early and figure out treatments? We're, we're on to genetic treatments right now. And two out of three don't have it. And by the way, who is supposed to decide who's too demented to function? Who's a value to their family and who isn't? Is it the government? Is the U.S. government, maybe the, the post office or the IRS, supposed to say, Steve, your father, you know, is not what we want him to be anymore? Sure. Exactly. Uh, well, may maybe you're talking about those uh, death panels that have been rumored for so long. And now That's exactly the point. Ex exactly. They act like Democrats just proposed a bill on Wednesday to kill people with Alzheimer's. That's what they're acting like. Like, Senator Chuck Schumer was like, All right, boys, uh, here we are with H.R. 476, and uh, we call it the Kill people with Alzheimer's bill. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, let's vote on it. I hope this one will be unanimous. Nobody ever said anything about killing people with Alzheimer's or dementia. I mean, who... Who paints that ridiculous of a straw man when debating an issue? They're talking specifically about Obamacare here. Their, ar their argument is so weak that they have to pretend like their opponents are trying to kill your grandma. But you're having a fake conversation. And this lie won't die. It just can It's the zombie lie. It keeps coming back. It was the lie of the year. PolitiFact gave it the lie of the year like four fucking years ago. And they're like, yeah, the death panels. Did you hear what he said? He goes, yeah, it's one of those things where it's the IRS death panel or the post, the post office death panel. Who do you want de deciding whether or not you live or die? The post office? As if Democrats are like, yes, that's what we want. We want the post office. I mean, they come on time, they should be able to tell you when you die on time. Isn't that obvious? He really thinks the post office might kill you. The IRS might kill you. And I love how at the beginning of the rant, he's acting like, what I say we should do is we should try to do more research to figure out what's going on here with old age dementia and Alzheimer's. That's what I say. As if anybody disagrees with that. As if the Democrats took a stand against Alzheimer's research. Now, of course, the sad reality is what? Because these are goofballs saying stupid shit. But the sad reality is we actually have real death panels. The insurance companies. And these guys support the real death panels hook, line, and sinker. Okay, they act like, oh, the private uh, insurance and capitalism is perfect for healthcare, even though we have over 40,000 people that died every single year because they don't have access to basic healthcare in our capitalist system, but it's still perfect. I mean, when the private insurance companies were left to make their own decisions and they were more unregulated pre-Obamacare, they had lifetime caps. They would just kick people off if they hit their lifetime cap, even if they had cancer and they were going to go bankrupt if the insurance didn't keep covering them, didn't care. Got rid of them, okay? Pre-existing conditions, huge issue, huge issue. They just, they simply say, oh, you need health care really badly? Well, it's a shame that you're already sick because we're not going to cover you because you're too big of a risk. You're a risk. You know, like, you're some sort of a, a, a good, some sort of a product. Like, you're a stock. Oh, you're a risk. We're not going to invest in you. Invest? We're talking about life and death. We're talking about health insurance and health care. That was the system. The health insurance companies are the real death panels. They had entire departments for this uh, legal practice called rescission. Now, what is rescission? That's when they go back and they look through all your paperwork and all your history when you get sick and you submit a claim to try to find any reason to drop your ass. So, for example, if one, uh, you know contract has your middle initial on it and another one doesn't, they might say, well, there's a discrepancy between these two contracts. Therefore, uh, your policy is null and void and we're not going to pay out on your claim. Sorry, 
You're like, wait, I just, it was just an initial. What the fuck? Sorry, we're not paying. We're not paying. We're not paying. This is what rescission is. You nullify a contract ret retroactively. I gave you this example before too. Um, a woman had acne in the past. She didn't disclose it. And she later on she had cancer. So she submitted a claim. Well, the health insurance company said, we're not going to cover your claim for paying for your chemo and radiation. She's like, wait, what? Why? Well, you had acne back in the day, and you didn't tell us. That was a pre-existing condition, so through the process of rescission, you're you're not covered. She's like, it's acne. What the fuck? Ac everybody had acne. They say, no, no, it, it might have been acne. We think it also may have been cancerous skin lesions. Therefore, you had cancer in the past, and you have it again. You didn't tell us, uh, so there was a pre-existing condition. Boom, rescission, you're done. This is the stuff we're dealing with. Those are the real death panels, and they, mmm, don't say anything about the real death panels. They have to make up fake ones in Obamacare.